Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post nail tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I do tons and tons of giveaways throughout my videos. That being said, I'm doing a very, I feel like long awaited video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my nail art essentials, my go-to, my recommendations if you are a beginner nail tech. These are some of the things that I feel like are crucial for you to start off with. They are very simple products yet super effective. I feel like a lot of the time we overthink things and when starting off to do nails, you don't want to overdo it. Just get your essentials, start creating nails and then go from there. So this is going to be like my base nail art stuff that you should purchase right off the bat. That being said, I did do a giveaway on my last video. If you missed that, I'm so sorry it's a little bit too late, but stay tuned for more. Our winner for that giveaway is going to be sent tons of not polished products. Their secret tips, Luminous Ladies, Electricity, Dusa, Glow Me The Money, which is also one of my go-to for the summertime, a nude color, their Dappin Dish. As you guys know, I work very closely with them and absolutely back up their products 100%. Amazing formula, definitely recommend them for beginners as well. So make sure you guys shop their site and use my discount code to save a little bit of money. Our winner for today's video or last video's giveaway is... Congratulations, make sure you message me on Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram, comment down below and I'll contact you and get that sent over to you. That being said, let's get right into the video. Now, before we get started, I did wanna go ahead and mention that these are in no particular order. I did just grab all my nail art essential products, put them in a box, so I'm gonna be grabbing, I'm gonna try to organize them as I'm going, but if they're not, I'm sorry. I still do think they are crucial when it comes to doing your nail art. So getting started right off the bat, my go-to nail art brush, you guys already know that I was going to talk about that, and it is the McCart nail art brush this one comes in a set of three i found them off amazon they are linked in my amazon storefront i have tons of products linked on there if you guys are interested but this one specifically the dark blue one it comes with a teal one as well and a gold one the dark blue one has a special place in my heart it is five years old from when i purchased it but it still works so i'm not gonna let it go until it fully dies on me and it's still in really good condition definitely a must when it comes to drawing nail art definitely good for details and those like really intricate you know little designs definitely a must definitely 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 i'm gonna continue to say that because it for sure is a must and i will forever recommend this now along with nail art brushes i'm going to be recommending this 3d nail art brush this one is linked in my Amazon storefront as well. It is also five years old. I'm not quite sure who makes it, but I do know it is a size five. And I honestly prefer the skinnier tips up top. There's a lot of 3D nail art brushes that are a little bit wider and go into a point. I, however, like the skinniness of this just because I feel like it helps me get details a lot better, especially when doing 3D little flowers. This one's going to be a lifesaver. It has kept its shape throughout. I have had to trim a few little bristles on the sides, but nothing major. It hasn't taken away from it at all whatsoever. And it's still in really good condition, a little crusty, but still works, does the job, and definitely a go-to 3D nail art brush. Speaking of nail art, I want to also mention a good cleanup brush. This one I recently got from Profiles Backstage. It came in one of their swag bags, if I'm not mistaken. And to me, it just seems like a regular painting brush that you can find like at a craft store but this one is flat up top and i started using it recently in my nail art process and it helps tremendously i like that it's super super flat so you can really really clean up if you do make mistakes it's definitely a lifesaver and i think a good cleanup brush is for sure crucial because you just never know when you're gonna mess up and you don't want to have to wipe the whole thing off if you could just get right in there and clean off the part that you messed up 
that helps save so much time and doesn't stress you out. So this one is a go-to now on my list. I used to have different cleanup brushes, but like I said, you can use whatever you find, whatever you think works best for you. And along with the brush little saga that I have here, this one is just a dust brush. I'm not even sure where I got this one. It's also very crusty. Profiles Backstage has a ton on their website. So I'm not quite sure if this was from them or not. It might have been a makeup brush and I just started using it for nail art and it just stayed that way. But I have adapted this into my pigments and this is going to be forever a pigment brush. This one can get dirty. I don't care. The quality of it is good. And I use it mainly to dust off the pigments whenever I have a little bit of excess on there. I love this. It's super nice and small, so it gets right in there and it does the job. So check them out on their website. I will try to find this one. If not, I will leave a similar one linked from their website. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite pigments that I have come across and it is the Profiles Backstage. This is their Neon Tower and they're nice and compact, which I absolutely love. It makes for easy storing and easy access whenever you actually want to use them. Super vibrant and I think they actually have like the primary colors on their website as well, but I have not ventured out to use those. I specifically love the neon ones and perfect for summer, perfect for those really vibrant designs that you might wanna create but don't have a gel paint for. Definitely highly recommend them. I feel like I keep repeating myself but when I talk about a product, I want you guys to know that I am passionate about it. I'm not just recommending it to you guys just because I am in love with the product that I'm recommending to you guys. So in pair with the pigments. I'm going to be recommending the white gel paint from Poochie's Nails. If you're not familiar with her stuff, check her out. She's an OG. I love her. She has a special place in my heart. I worked with her when I first started doing nails and I will forever love her and be grateful for her. But specifically, her gel paint is perfect for the pigments because it has a strong tacky layer. I don't know if you guys are familiar with gel paints, but nowadays, a lot of companies strive for that shiny finish, the no wipe gel paints. I do love them, don't get me wrong, but specifically for pigments, you want something that's going to grasp that pigment. It's going to keep it on the nail. And the Poochie's Nail Art does not fail. It is perfect. She also has the black version of it, which is absolutely amazing for transfer foils. So this one's her black one, and I wanna say I've used it on my channel before, but these two are a must. I don't think she offers any other colors. So if you go on her website, definitely purchase these two together and you will not regret it. They are life savers, they are life changing. Now, speaking of gel paint, I did want to let you guys know that I am very passionate about hand-painted nail art. It is my favorite. I feel like that's what brings me joy. I love it. Every second of drawing on a nail, I absolutely adore. So that being said, my gel paint collection is very, very important to me. I have tried tons of different products when it comes to gel paints, different brands, and by far the Profiles Backstage Frosting Gel Paints have my heart. So the reason why I say this and to back up my reasoning is their pigment in these gel paints are super, super opaque. And when you're drawing things on a nail, you want to be able to layer on little designs and details onto the nail without anything showing through. These are definitely going to secure that and you're going to be able to create tons of nail art, different little characters. I think the formula is amazing. It does have a no wipe finish to it. So whenever you cure it, you're good to go. It doesn't need to be wiped or anything like that. Of course, add top coat, but this product alone is amazing, highly recommend it. Now, what I love to use and I've recently implemented into my nail art process is going to be this little light. This little thing right here <laughs> has become a lifesaver when I am hand drawing. So it can become very time consuming trying to do one little detail, putting it in the light, going on to the next nail, and then you have to come back. So this thing right here, you just turn it on. I kind of wiggle it all over the surface of the nail or the area that I'm trying to cure, and it's going to flash cure it, freeze it into place, and then you can move on to the next step without having to let go of the client at all whatsoever. I feel like I don't know why. When I get started on a specific design, I want to finish it right then and there, so this, 
for sure recommend it it comes in a pack of three off amazon very inexpensive and a good little investment now another amazing duo that i have discovered for my nail art is going to be the lint free wipes from opi they look like this just nice squared definitely lint free I also have them linked in my Amazon storefront. The pack I wanna say is 325 wipes, but it comes with three of these little boxes, which are going to last you a really long time. And along with that, it's going to be the Young Nail Swipe. This is a really good alternative to alcohol. I think it's better. I don't know what else they add into it. When it comes to dehydrating the nail, I use this with a lint-free wipe. And then whenever I'm cleaning up any mess ups that I do with my nail art, I just use one of my little cleanup brushes, dab a little bit of this on there and clean up the mess and we are good to go. This one is a must. You can find it on Amazon or purchase it directly from their website. Now, when it comes to Nellar, I feel like a lot of the time we overthink it and we feel like you have to hand draw it. I used to be a hater. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I used to be one of those that like thought certain things were cutting corners and cheating. <laughs> I don't know why I was like that and I apologize for ever thinking that way, but it's kind of sad to be honest now that I look back on it. Foils are going to be your best friend. So these are from Profiles Backstage. They have a huge variety. If you guys have seen my desk organization video, you will notice that I have a huge collection. So these are specifically flower transfer foils, which are super, super pretty, tons of different patterns, but you can also find the basic gold, silver, black, purple, whatever foils on their site as well. I love them so, so much. They save you so much time and you get such a pretty design when you use them. Paired with that, of course, you want to use the Stick It. This one is called Quick Stick It from Profiles Backstage. They have reformulated it recently. And when I say the formula is amazing, it's going to get you the super clean transfer that you have been striving for. I know transfer foils can be a really big pain in the butt if you don't have the right products. This one's definitely going to do the trick. I actually have videos on my channel where I show you guys little tips and tricks as well on how to get it to really stick. So make sure you guys check those out if you are struggling with your transfer foils. But those two paired together are going to be amazing. Really quick nail art and super, super pretty. Now talking about easy, easy nail art, I am going to be talking about decals. Like I said, I used to be a hater and I never, ever had a collection of decals. Well, now this is a small portion of them. <laughs> I have a lot. I have a lot. So the amazing part of decals is you're gonna get the perfect design each time. You're gonna have a huge variety of them. So it's really nice when clients don't know exactly what they want. You can just whoop out your decals and boom, show them to them. I have flowers, we got hearts, we have snowflakes, little Easter bunnies, some Christmas designs, some Halloween, some New Year's. You just have so many different options when you use these and profiles backstage has a huge variety they call them pasties on their website they're super super cute tons and tons of different ones and you're going to save tons of time when it comes to nail art you just pop them on there put some top coat over top and you are ready to go now for some really fun nail art products it's going to be the dried flowers these are specifically from profiles backstage i'm not quite sure if they offer these on their website anymore but they do have different options i also have some linked in my amazon storefront that i have personally purchased and absolutely love but these are going to be lifesavers they're good for springtime summertime fall even Christmas this is one of those trends that's never gonna go out of style they have been around for the longest time and as the years go by as the seasons change as the months change and the holidays change these are always around and you can never go wrong with them I love them myself I think they're super super cute and they come in such a huge variety nowadays, different colors, different sizes, different flowers. I absolutely love these. Now, I hope you guys didn't think I forgot the most basic yet effective nail art there has to be when it comes to the nail industry. We're talking about glitters. 
These I picked like the most vibrant ones from Profiles Backstage that I have in my collection. But when I tell you guys my drawer of glitters is insane, you guys probably saw that in my desk tour. But I love glitter, my clients love glitter. It's just such a simple yet super effective way of doing nail art. I do have tons that are just loose glitters and I also have the option in mixed with acrylic so you can do either or. I prefer them loose just in case I wanna mix my own mixtures or they want to like do these two together. I can easily do that without having to struggle. Glitters are gonna be your best friend. They're going to be a lifesaver. Profiles Backstage has a ton of varieties from basics to tiny micro glitter, sugaring glitter, to mermaid ones, to color changing ones, to vibrant ones, to Christmas ones, to glitter mixes with little stars, butterflies, <laughs> Everything you can think of, they have, and they're very affordable and super, super pretty. They're gonna last you a long time as well. These little jars are tiny, but they're gonna last you forever, trust me. Now, another simple nail art that I also feel like is never gonna go out of style is definitely going to be chrome nails. I don't have any chrome powders with me, but I do have the chrome base, which is called Rub On from Kiara Sky. This one by far is the best one that I have tried. I've used tons of different chrome bases and they never get that transfer well enough for my liking or for my client's liking. I want that pigment to transfer onto the nail so vibrant and super opaque the first go around. It saves you time, it saves you product, it saves you effort and it minimalizes the chipping. Chrome powders are really hard to work with if you do not have good products. And when I tell you this one's gonna be a good one, definitely check it out if you are struggling in that area. Now to finish off the nail art little collection, I want to say that a huge part of getting a really good design and finishing it off is going to be your top coat. You wanna get the perfect top coat for you and your clients. So my favorite ones have to go to the Not Polished Glossa and Matte, I don't have them here, but I have this bottle. <laughs> but the Glossa and Matte are amazing. They are my go-to. You get the super shiny finish and you get the super matte finish. Matte definitely is one of those tricky ones as well because sometimes they'll still have like a shiny cast and the matte is matte. When I tell you it's velvety feeling, it's perfect and it stays matte the entire time. I love it, especially with nail art. You guys already know on my channel, I love topping my nail art with matte because it just brings out all those details and it makes it look so good. Now, other than that, I want to suggest to you guys, this bottle is also very crusty. This is the Young Nails Stain Resistant Gel Top Coat. This is my OG absolutely go-to because it is perfect for your hairdresser clients those clients that like to smoke, the clients that like to purchase new jeans and ruin their white nails that they just got. <laughs> this one's going to save their nails, especially when they do white or clear, very, very light colors. You want to fully protect them with a good top coat. This one does have a tacky layer to it, but I can look past that because the formula is so good and it absolutely keeps the nails stain free. I have all my hairstylist clients that come in two, three, four, five weeks from their initial appointment and they are still beautiful. And it's funny because you can see like discoloration like around their fingers, but the nail is still in perfect condition, which I strive for. So that basically concludes today's video. I hope you guys took a lot of information down. I hope it helped you, especially you beginner nail techs that I know it could be a struggle to kind of figure out exactly what you wanna purchase to begin with. I hope this helped you guys a ton. Don't forget to check out the description box because I do have my discount codes linked along with the links to all of the products that I talked about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a ton. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. If you have not checked out their stuff, make sure you do guys. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> you guys. I feel like it's important that I can't talk. Whatever that means. <laughs>